Hi everyone, Asani Bonani. Welcome to my channel, Kamara Mgontana Mletcha. And on this channel, Siae, Sibuge Ama Reality Shows, A2 Ala, Mzanti Bese, Sizala, Sokuluma Nga Ola Mashu, Sia Pindage Futi, Sikulume Nga Ma, Celebrities Ganyan Nga Ma, YouTubers, A2 Ala, Mzanti. If it's your first time joining me today, and you really like my content, please subscribe below, and also press the notification bell. Uguzu Tolu Mia Lezo, Umanga Bum Seven Zomusha Sese, Wofagil. So you guys, yesterday I did a video where I was talking about Utato Monse from Real Housewives of uh, Cape Town. Uh, the article that I went through yesterday was talking about how Utato has been uh, sent back to Cape Town uh, by her new man who is now her ex, okay? Uh, because he is saying that he couldn't deal with uh, her alcohol abuse and also she is a little bit too loud and all of that and Utato was saying that she was starting to see ama red flags when it comes to this man that's the reason that uh, she left uh, the relationship because he was trying to control uh, who he spends who she spends time with who who she works with he even uh, was saying that he did not want her to do season two of Real Housewives of Cape Town. And so she uh, left the relationship. So I guess that the, the decision to uh, actually uh, go apart uh, was mutual because it doesn't sound like Utsato wanted to stay in the relationship. And also the guy didn't want her you know, to stay uh, with him. So they're no longer together. She is back in Cape Town. Okay. And I think it's probably right in time uh, to shoot uh, Real Housewives of Cape Town season two if she is going to do uh, season two of Real Housewives uh, of Cape Town. Okay. So, but then since I was uh, reading uh, about Utato yesterday, you know what the internet does is that it also suggests more articles on the same uh, person, and this is what Google did. Okay. So there is uh, this article that is written about the interview that Utato had done here on YouTube, which I wasn't uh, aware about you guys. And I like this because obviously after the season had ended for Real Housewives of Cape Town, her husband, or should I say her ex-husband, uh, um, Mohammed, the one that she talks about a lot uh, in season one of Real Housewives of Cape Town, had done an interview uh, telling his side of the story after the season had ended, okay? And he told a totally different story from the story that Utato was telling because from what Utato was saying, Mohammed was a very abusive uh, husband, okay? And basically he wasn't taking care of her and all of that. And the husband came and tell, told a different story. I did talk about it in my video from yesterday, okay? Uh, now, uh, here, I like this article because basically it's Tato responding to some of the things that were said in that interview that the husband did because I wondered after the interview if really she was going to respond, you know, and clarify some things because they really were telling two different stories. But you know what they say? There is her story, his story, and there's the truth somewhere in between. But it's always good to hear both sides so that we can decide for ourselves who we uh, believe and by the way we don't even have to believe anybody because okay <laughs> on top of that you guys uh, i thought it was funny utato thinks of course that uh, um, real housewives of cape town uh, is the best franchise in South Africa. Uh, she says that they buried uh, Real Housewives of Jobek and Devon. And as Noma, guys, do you want, should we tell her or uh, let her <laughs> believe what she believes? Eh? Simchele Noma. Simchele Kwenye Zutato Noma Simyegenji. Anyway, you guys, this article is written by Olu Tando Ketei. It says, Real Housewives of Cape Town star Tato Monse gets candid on finding love after the reality show and her abusive past relationship. The Real Housewives of Cape Town has become a household name following her stint on uh, the show. 
Munza proved to be a reality TV gold in with all the drama during the season. On several occasions, she found herself at the center of the drama, regardless of whether she started it or not. The outspoken personality was recently a guest at the Engineer Your Life with Lungelo KM and opened up about the traumas of her abusive marriage of 16 years. Munta also spoke about how being a cast member of Real Housewives of Cape Town has made life easier for her in the dating scene. I was single until Devin July weekend last year where I met my new man who is an ANC politician. Guys, who is that politician? Because I've been looking for photos and I haven't found them. Okay, We met at the foyer of a hotel in Umtlanga and ever since we now live together in Hartis and are building a life together. The couple already made their red carpet appearance when they attended the uh, inauguration of Basadi in music um, awards last year hand in hand. Munze encoded that a lot of politicians, millionaires and billionaires are in the queue to try and get her. I am a quality woman who is self-made. No wonder they are all after me. Okay. Munza also <laughs> threw a few jobs at other real uh, housewives franchises in South Africa. Uh, we bury them. No one talks about real housewives of Durban, Pretoria and Johannesburg anymore. Cape Town had the highest viewership and we are trending every week. The Real Housewives of Cape Town ended their season in October with over half a million viewers, according to the Broadcast Research Council of South Africa. Munze's relationship with Wine during the first season of reality show had the housewives and viewers concerned. However, during her podcast interview, she denied having issues with drinking. She, however, opened up and acknowledged that she cheated a lot as a means to deal with the trauma she survived at the hands of her ex-husband who started beating her up with her son um, was when her son was a day old. I had no identity of my own. He used the fact that he had money to strip me of my identity by isolating me and beating me up in our fancy estate home in Cape Town. Monse laments that her son would witness as she was gruesomely beaten uh, by the father and she still worries about how it has affected him. I left when I was financially right. As soon as I made enough money, I got a, I got strength to leave because I could no longer take being a punching bag. Because I was so happy, I cheated. I was so unhappy, I cheated on Mohammed, my ex-husband, multiple times as means to find happiness somewhere. I found myself a new boyfriend whom I really loved until now. I, I love and I disappeared from my marital home with Mohammed to go and marry my new man traditionally. Munza also opened up to Lungelo KM that her uh, sex life with Mohammed was non-existent as he was always busy and they were always fighting. I told Mohammed that I am going to Woolworths and then I went to get married to my Namibian prince. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Philip I was very happy with my new husband, and that's when uh, Mohammed attacked him and got arrested. Till now, Mohammed has a criminal record uh, for that. Whew, you guys, let's see. <laughs> There's a lot going on with Utato, and it's amazing how they really tell different stories with her husband. They would, you can see that they're telling the same story but differently, you know? And with each of them in the story, the other one is a victim. And it's hard to decide really what happened here. But it's hard to, if you if you are reading this article or you go and listen to the interview on here on YouTube, she does take some responsibility. She does say that definitely she did uh, cheat and uh, left her marital home i don't like that she makes an excuse to say that because she was in an abusive relationship she, she said you know you could have just walked away from the relationship you did not have to uh, cheat and th those are uh, the um, some of the things that men will say when they cheat too they would say because i wasn't getting the right treatment at home i went and i cheated there's no excuse for cheat. just leave a relationship and then go to what do whatever that you want to do 
also this other story of her uh saying she's going to Woolworths and then going and marrying another man uh, she did mention it on uh the first season of real housewives of cape town even though she did not go into details to say she was trying to say to the ladies listen uh because everybody was talking about how abusive mohammed is and how controlling he is and she was saying actually guys i'm not that innocent i have actually left this man uh, at home and gone and married someone else and then i i i, I came back uh, I don't know about this uh, criminal uh, record that she's talking about. Uh, she did not say anything about it on the show, but here it is that Mohammed has a criminal record because he got into a fight with uh, Tato's then new man. Okay, so there's a lot that's going on with uh, Tato. I wonder now that she's back in uh, Cape Town because it looks like Utado is the is a woman that likes to be taken care of she likes being a kept woman uh, and i know in reality shows you you are paid once unless you get other um deals outside of the show because of the show but for the show itself you are paid once i wonder if that man is still there if she's gonna be able to maintain her life now that she doesn't have another uh rich man or she's gonna feel like she needs to go back to Mohammed now. I, I wonder you guys. But I just thought that I would do this video because I had done a video yesterday about her and her new men going their separate ways. Guys, who is the politician that Tato was saying? Let me look for these pictures, okay? Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before Pume Giona share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Itanda Kakun.